Wind Cave National Park shares a northern border with Custer State Park in the Black Hills. Visitors can see bison and pronghorn while traversing scenery ranging from flat prairies to forested mountains and canyons. The Beaver Creek Bridge provides an essential link between the parks across a steep canyon. What's cool about this bridge, it's such a secluded spot. Tom Farrell is Chief of Interpretation at Wind Cave National Park. He stands at a lookout on Highway 87 that offers a stunning view. Across a valley, white arches and columns rise from the rocky, forested edges of a canyon. The bridge spans more than 200 feet across and more than 100 feet above Beaver Creek. You can come out and watch it. You can hear Beaver Creek in the distance below it. And just this white expanse of concrete that's aged out over the years that just stands there as a silent sentinel between these two canyons making sure people can cross the canyon. Farrell says visitors will miss out on the bridge if they don't stop at the vista or explore around the structure itself. It's easy to overlook because you just drive over it, but if you stop and pause and take a look, you realize this is a special place. I mean, the superintendent for Custer State Park back in 1930 said it was the most beautiful structure in the state of South Dakota. And you spend a little bit of time here just listening to the river underneath and watching the bridge, you kind of get the impression what what an interesting, special, unique place this is. Highway 87 is closed from the lookout to the intersection north of Rankin Ridge until crews finish renovating the bridge in mid-October. Inspectors with the National Bridge Inventory have been recommending rehabilitation since 2010 when they noticed general deterioration. The bridge is rated fair rather than poor or good. Um, We're doing some routine maintenance on the bridge. Just the fact that it's 92 years old and you want to just keep up on it. Beaver Creek Bridge isn't as well known as the granite tunnels on Needles Highway or the wooden pigtail bridges along Iron Mountain Road but all were built in the same era under the vision and aesthetic philosophy of a former governor and U.S. senator. It is part of that. Um, Senator Peter Norbeck was instrumental in getting this bridge built. He was a person behind Custer State Park, and he helped design the roadways, the scenic drives through um, the Black Hills. Um, We were actually told that if if Peter Norbeck hadn't been involved, they would have just routed the road further up the canyon, put a box culvert across the canyon, and kept going from there. But because of his influence, he wanted something that would blend itself into the landscape, and that this bridge definitely does. That's what Senator Norbeck wanted. He wanted something like this that, that, that wasn't obtrusive, that just blended in. He says it could have been built at a narrower, more convenient part of the canyon. But the planners chose to cross at this spot, which was more complex but scenic. Crews built the bridge in 1929 with an average of 20 workers a day. It was completed after 154 days. They had to do the concrete in one continual pour um, because you couldn't get from one side to the other side. They had to have two mixing plants on either side, and they had to do it into the night. And and so they brought in these gas lanterns that you'd use in a circus back in the day. And just the commotion and the shadows and working at night on the bridge, that would have been a fun night just to have sat in the corner and kind of watched this happen. Beaver Creek Bridge is the longest and most complex concrete bridge in South Dakota and it's the only open spandrel concrete arch bridge in the state. That means the roadway and arch are connected with columns rather than solid concrete. The bridge was added to the National Register of Historic Places due to its architectural uniqueness and historical connection to Senator Norbeck and recreation in the Black Hills. The National Park Service is paying nearly half a million dollars for renovations to Beaver Creek and another nearby bridge, a Rapid City company is doing the work. The renovations will allow visitors to have an easy and scenic journey between Wind Cave and Custer State Park for years to come. For now, visitors traveling between the two sites can take a detour through the town of Custer. I'm SDPB's Ariel Zients at Wind Cave National Park.